look. There's a raccoon in the tree. Oh my gosh. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 6 p.m. And look at what's going on downstairs. I'm trying to teach the cats to eat on their own placemats facing the wall. Looks like Splash finished his. He's trying to eat Stella's. I had to coax Boo to eat his because he wanted to eat on the steps. But if I can get them to eat this way, I think it'll be better than having like the round platter in the middle of the walkway down there and their plates all over the place. Because a lot of times they won't eat on the platter. I have to move their plate off the platter. And I'm thinking this could work. We'll see how it goes. I found these placemats. I had these downstairs. They're lucky. They're lucky placemats. I probably got them at the Christmas tree shop a year or two ago around St. Patrick's Day. I thought they were appropriate for the lucky ferals. So the cats are eating their food. Boo's going to be the the one with the issue because he normally doesn't finish his food downstairs. He likes to finish his food upstairs because he's spoiled like that. See? See? We're going, Boo. But I'm thinking that if the cats will eat this way over time, they're all going to have their spot. Like right now, they don't really have a spot because it's the first time I'm feeding them like this. But when I give them crunchies upstairs on their play rug, they each have their spot. Like they sit in their certain spot when they get their crunchies. And I'm thinking that's what will happen here. Like they'll choose their location and then, you know, they'll have ownership on their spot. So we'll see. Splash just kind of made his way down the line and Simba's going back to where Splash was eating originally. So upstairs on the play rug, the order is Boo, Simba, Stella, Splash. Like that's kind of how they get their crunchies. And it's really interesting that that's how they set themselves up down here. When they were eating, it was Boo, Simba, Stella, Splash. And then Splash and Stella kind of uh, mixed places. And I got to pick up Boo's food before Splash eats it. So these were in a closet. That's why they're not perfectly flat because they were not stored perfectly flat. I'm hoping over time they will flatten themselves out. But by putting the plates and the placemats against the wall, then this whole area is cleared out and I don't have to walk around plates and a platter and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. It's about 9.30 a.m. I slept in today and Stella jumped on the bed for some pets. She's been laying next to me as I get some extra sleep. Look at her eyelashes. Do you see... Do you see Stella's eyelashes? Look how long her eyelashes are. Stella, you got nice, pretty long eyelashes. She's a pretty girl, right Stella? With your long eyelashes. She's so happy. Stella's so white and fluffy. You're white and fluffy, Stella. It's about 11 a.m. The cats are having a brunch. And they're having some homemade raw food with a few crunchies on top. Boo has some canned food mixed in also. And this is the second meal that I've been trying to train the cats to eat here. And it took a lot of wrangling to get this many eating. 
Boo's upstairs because he decided he's just going to eat upstairs. So we'll see what happens if he comes back down. So there was quite a bit of shifting around. First, Stella wanted to eat here. Then she decided she was going to eat there. And then she started eating here, but Simba's food was here. So then I had to swap, so then I had to swap these plates. And then Simba didn't want to eat until I put some sardines on his, some dried sardines. So now they're eating. So it looks like this might be their preferred seating order, which would be Boo, Simba, Stella, Splash. This is the order that they chose yesterday. Um, but normally what happens is I have to put Boo's food down first, then Stella's food, then Simba's food, and then Splash's food. That's like their pecking order. That's how I have to give them crunchies in that order. And if I don't give them crunchies in that order, then they get mad and eat each other's food. So what I'll do next time is I'll put Boo's food down here, then I'll put Stella's food down, then I'll put Simba's food, then Splash's. Because what I did was I just wanted to go down the line. I was like, Boo, Stella, Simba, Splash, and it didn't work. So three out of four is not bad, right? And there's Bowie's on top of the steps. I don't know what he was doing this morning, but he was running around the house like a crazy person. He had the zoomies really bad. And then this morning, the cats all got brushed, and then he attacked somebody. I don't know if he attacked Simba or Stella, but I brushed all three of the cats in the living room. I walked out of the room. Next thing I know, there's a fight. So he's just been in some kind of weird mood this morning. It is 7.45 p.m. I forgot to defrost raw food for the cats, so they're having some canned food. They're having a can of the Wellness Chicken and Lobster, which Ditto did not like that one for some reason. He loved fresh lobster, but he didn't like the Wellness Chicken and Lobster. And Boo uh, went straight for the food, but he, Boo was eating here originally, and Stella went straight for that one. And I had to put Simba near this one. Splash, he doesn't want to eat any of them. Boo just came upstairs, maybe because I'm talking to you from up here. And Boo probably wants to eat in the living room with his uh, Stella and Chewie's freeze-dried topper because he's now addicted to that. That's his favorite thing. So I'm going to grab his plate, bring it upstairs, and maybe Splash will go and eat something. Splash, go eat your food. Go eat your food, Splash. You could do it. You could do it. Don't be afraid of the placemats, okay? Give me a good scratch. Good scritchy scratchy. I just realized that I have the wide angle lens on right now. So if it looks a little weird, that's why. I'm really close to Splash right now. No more pets or no? You done? It's 9.37 p.m. I don't know what is going on. I was just in the kitchen about to prepare some ice cream from frozen bananas and Boo went running through the kitchen and running downstairs and he normally does not do that. So I followed him and he went straight to the top of the cat tower downstairs where he was looking out the window. 
I was like, what is he looking at? So I came up here and I looked at this window and I don't see anything. Plus there are no lights on outside. So there's a motion activated light, but he obviously he sees something. I don't know what he sees, but there are several motion activated lights outside and none of them are on. So what he's been doing is he's been running back and forth between this window and then he's going downstairs and he's looking out of the window on top of the cat tower. It's really strange. But he's doing his job because that's Boo's job. To look out the windows and let me know what's going on. It's 5.30 p.m. I'm just about to feed the cats dinner. I came downstairs and I found this. So someone had a hairball. I'm hoping it was Simba because maybe that's why he's had an upset stomach. And maybe now that he passed this, he'll be feeling better. I went to PetSmart earlier today and I bought two more bottles of this Nature's Miracle Advanced Stain and Odor Eliminator because I don't have any left in the house. And it was buy one, get one half off. So thank you to everyone who has sent in PetSmart gift cards to the cats. Can you see this? I just found a white whisker near where the hairball was. So I would think this would be either Stella or Splash. Now, Stella did not want to eat much of her breakfast this morning, so I'm wondering if maybe Stella had the hairball. Look who's waiting on her placemat. Stella's waiting for her dinner. She's sitting on her placemat. So when the cats get crunchies upstairs, she sits on her little crunchy plate. If they're getting a little paper plate, she'll sit on that. If they're getting like a coffee filter, she'll sit on that. If they're getting a ceramic crunchy plate, she'll sit on that. So right now she's sitting on her placemat. And Simba's hitting the camera. You hungry, Simba? You wanna eat something? Simba says he's hungry, he wants to eat something. You hungry? There's buoys on top of the steps. You can only see like a silhouette of him because there's light coming in the back door. The cats are having dinner on their new licky mats. They're having homemade raw food and Boo has some canned food mixed into his. And I split a squeeze up four ways as a topper just to give them the idea that they have to lick the food. And there's a few crunchies on each plate also. Looks like Simma just picked out a piece of chicken. See what Simma did? So there's some chunks of meat in the homemade raw food. And that's what Simma just picked out. Notice how they have made their selection with regards to placement. It seems that this is the order they like eating in. It's actually very similar to the order that they ate in when they were living outside when Splash and Simba were kittens because Boo and Stella would eat opposite each other on the party platter and Simba and Splash would eat in between them. Simba would eat in between Boo and Stella and Splash would eat opposite him in between Stella and Boo. And this is the same exact order that they like to eat their crunchies in upstairs. I think I mentioned that earlier. Just eat your food. Eat your food. And it seems that this is slowing them down because by now, Splash would have, you know, swallowed his food and ran upstairs. And it looks like he's still eating pretty fast. Splash is practically done already. But they've taken to these plates really quickly. And I gave them a little less dinner than they normally have. So I saved the rest of the raw food for their snack time later. So I'll give them like a little bit, maybe like one quarter of the portion of raw that they normally get. So Splash ate his food. Stella's working on hers. So I'm glad she has an appetite and I'm glad Simba has an appetite because Simba threw up his breakfast 
And Stella really did not eat much breakfast at all. Is she gonna leave some food on her plate? She's smelling Splash's butt. So the white whiskers come from either Splash or Stella. And Simba's still working on his, so that's good. I'm glad it's slowing him down. They still eat pretty fast, though. And Boo's eating his. He's not eating on the steps nearly as much as he was prior to these plates. What I have to do, though, with him is I just pick him up and I put him next to the plate. And he's been eating when I do that. Sometimes he doesn't finish it and I have to bring it upstairs and he'll eat it upstairs the rest of it. But so far, the fact that he's eating any on these placemats is good. Now, Boo normally takes the longest to eat his food because he does lick it more so than the other cats do. But they did a good job. I know Simba's gonna go and try to clear off Stella's plate. So I did wash these before I gave them to the cats and um, I did try these out earlier with squeeze ups for the cats and they're not that difficult to wash these. I mean, they do take a little bit longer than just a regular plate because they have so many little crevices, but overall they're not that much more difficult. They will be more time consuming obviously than paper plates, because when I give the cats paper plates, I just pick them up and throw them out. But if this will avoid some of the vomiting from the cats eating too much or too fast, then it's worth it. Right, Simba? Simba, did you enjoy your dinner? He said he enjoyed it. Boo hears something outside. I could hear my neighbors yelling. And also there's been a lot of construction going on uh, next door. They're totally renovating the house next door. And I, and I wish they would just hurry up and finish it because it's been going on for quite some time now. They have a very small crew doing it. It's usually only like two people a day. Maybe it'll be three or four people a day but it's been taking a really long time and it's a lot of banging and uh, power tools and noises and the cats really don't like it. So anytime they hear something, they, they're kind of on alert. It's about 9.15 p.m. and tonight the cats are getting their crunchy snacks on these licky mats. So here's what's going on. This is a little bit of homemade raw food that was left over from dinner. They're all getting, this is about, that's about one tablespoon each except for Boo except for Bowie's getting some canned food. Then they're getting four Temptations treats that are left over from the 4th of July. They're getting one of the Stella and Chewy's freeze-dried cod uh, nuggets. I split it in two. Uh, and then they're just getting a few crunchies. So we'll see how they do with this. Here's Bowie's waiting. Okay, so here are the cats. Simba and Boo were a little bit confused when I put the first two plates down, but they figured it out. Splash is almost done with his already. Splash eats so fast.
Nouveau version, bro. That's not yours. That's not yours. Okay, you finish it, Stella. You finish your food, Stella. Finish your food, Stella. Go ahead, Stella. Yeah. It's great juice. It's 3.20 p.m. Look at what's going on out here. So the other day I bought more bird seed. I bought the kind with fruit and nuts in it. And then they also had like a squirrel feed. It was called a critter feed, which is a lot of dried corn. And then some other things. And I forget what the other things are. And the squirrels have really been enjoying that. And they've been sharing it with the birds also, so. So far everyone's getting along. I have to go outside and bring a few things in because it looks like it's going to start raining soon. So he's going to have to take a little break from his snack. It almost looks like a little table for squirrels. It's 10.06 p.m. I just walked into Boo's room because I was going to open the window. There's a black cat on the patio who was drinking some water. That's what Boo's been watching. So on the patio, there's this white tub of water. I don't know if you could see it because it's really dark and I have the exposure cranked on the camera. But today I filled it up with fresh water and when I came in to open the window the cat was sitting next to the water bowl just looking at me and it was looking at Boo. So that's what Boo's been watching for at night. He must be watching for the cats that come through. I wonder if it's one of his relatives. Boo, who is that cat? Boo, who is that cat? Who's that cat? Is that one of your relatives? Is it a cousin? Is it a niece or a nephew? How do you know that cat? Is that one of your new girlfriends? It's about 7.15 a.m. Good morning, Simba. What you been watching outside? Watching the birds and the squirrels. You feeling good today, Simba? Last night, the cats had treats on their licky mats. So they had some of their homemade raw food because I didn't give them their full amount at dinner. And then I had some roasted turkey in the refrigerator, so they each had a little bit of roasted turkey. And then they had some crunchies. Was that good, Simba? They're still trying to figure out those um, licky mats with regards to snack time and crunchies. Sometimes they're like, don't make me do all this work just to get my food, but it's good because it slows them down with regards to their eating. Right, Simba? We're getting a nice cool breeze from the window right now because I have the attic fan on and it pulls all the cool outside air in. How you doing, boo? You got sleepers in your eyes?
is 7.20 a.m. Look at what's going on here. Splash and Simba are washing the birds and squirrels together. There's still some seed out from yesterday. Yesterday afternoon I put some seed out for the birds and some of the dried corn mix for the squirrels. So there's still animals out this morning eating some of it. And here's Stella. Stella got lots of pets this morning. She jumped on the bed and got pets. So yesterday was way day for the cats. And Stella and Simba both lost 0.2 pounds since last week. So that's good. It's a very slow but steady weight loss for them. Right, Stella? They'll be the same weight for a few weeks and then they'll... They'll drop 0.2 pounds. Sometimes Stella might gain 0.2 pounds because if I don't watch her very closely with regards to eating everyone's food, um, then that might happen. But over this past week, I've been really monitoring all of the food intake. Like when I give the cats food, I have to literally stand there and watch who's eating what to make sure that somebody is not eating double servings. It's 12 p.m. I just came inside from doing two hours of yard work. And look at what's going on here. Stella, Boo, and Simba, all three are laying on the bed. It's okay, Boo, you go back to, go back to your nap. It's going to be another hot day today. It's really dry in the yard. I just made sure everything was watered. I had to trim some of the hedges. I've been trying to do any outside work early in the day because around 11 a.m. it starts getting really hot. So I make sure that I'm done with whatever I need to do by 12 before the really hottest part of the day. I just need to go and put the sprinklers on. I should have put them on earlier in the morning, but I'll go put them on now for a little while. It's still, still earlier in the day. And there's Splash. I'm taking a walk and look at what I just came across. It's a mama deer and her baby. It's a little Bambi deer. I don't want to disturb it. I don't want to scare it either. There's a car coming. It's about 8.30 p.m. And I was just in the greenhouse. I was cleaning up some stuff. Um, I was wiping down the table and chairs. It's a mess again because I spilled some dirt. Because what happened was I was standing in here. The door is wide open. And all of a sudden, a little baby raccoon. Like, not a tiny, tiny baby. like Maybe like a teenage raccoon. I just see it start walking up to me. And it's like making noise. Um, it's way over there. It's way over there in the tree. Here it is. See it? All right. I don't need to. You see the raccoon? First of all, it's still light out, so I'm not really comfortable with raccoons walking around. And, um, I mean, it is exhibiting a little bit weird behavior, so that's why... I don't want to stay out here with it. But part of me thinks maybe it's just looking for food. Maybe it's lost. Um, I don't want to chance anything. But it was so cute. And it was making like, they kind of make like a crying noise. Well, there it is. It's going up the tree. Guys, can you see it? Look, look at this. Can you see it? See it? Oh my gosh, guys, look. There's a raccoon in the tree. Oh my gosh. I can't zoom in any farther. Whoa. 
I'm gonna go see if I can get my other camera. Okay, I just grabbed the other camera. This will zoom in better. Wow, that is so crazy. The way it was just hanging out up there. I would never notice it if the other one wasn't um, like making noise at me. What do you call, like it wasn't like raccoon chatter. I don't know what you call the noises raccoons make. They're really cute little raccoons. Thing's trying to get down now, poor thing. The other one just walked through the yard and went under the fence. So what's going on right now is the other side of this fence is a construction zone. So uh, the house next door to me is under complete renovation and the backyard is just a giant pile of debris. And um, I don't think it's safe for any animals to be around so hopefully the raccoons are staying away from the debris but pretty much the entire backyard is just piles and piles of debris. This is what's left of the bird seed and the squirrel food. Um, the birds ate all the bird seed um, the dried corn is the squirrel food and then I found a bunch of pumpkin seeds in my refrigerator and I mean they've been in there for years they had an expiration date of you know like 2020 so I was like okay I'll just put them out and see if any of the animals want them so the pumpkin seeds are there also I don't know if pumpkin seeds go bad um, in a refrigerator I know like you could freeze nuts they last for quite a while I don't know how long they last in a refrigerator. It's 9, 12 a.m. There's birds outside waiting for me to put some bird seed out. I'm not gonna put it out yet. I have to go outside and do some yard work. But when I'm done, then I'll put some bird seed out for them. Boo likes to take a flying leap from the shelves by the window to the day sofa. That's his favorite thing. Right, Boo? You want pets? So today's fish day. The cats had fish for breakfast. Right, Boo? And Boo's been watching the birds. The cats love to watch the birds on the patio. It's 4.26 p.m. Let's check on the cats. So Stella, Splash, and Simba are laying on the bed. They're nice and cool. I just put the air on about an hour ago because it's really hot today. And um, it looks like they're having a good time. It looks like they're relaxing. And here's Boo, he's on his day sofa. This is his favorite spot. He loves his room. He loves this day sofa. And he really, really likes everything now that it's been rearranged. The only thing he wishes is that he wishes I spent more time in this room with him, which I would like to do, but I've been trapped with work all day. I don't know if I showed this to you yet, but you see this floor mat? It says peekaboo. And it looks like Boo on it. I got that at a Kmart a few years ago um, before they all started going out of business. One Halloween season, they had a whole bunch of uh, Peekaboo merchandise. And when I saw it, I was like, wow, that is so perfect for Boo. Um, so I got a few of those. Those are like uh, kitchen mats, you know, the really soft kitchen mats. So I put it there because the cats like jumping off of the shelves. And I thought it would just, you know, be softer for them to jump down on. But thankfully, they've been using this cat tower here. So they'll jump from the shelves to the cat tower and down that way. Or what Boo likes to do is he likes to take a flying leap from here over to here. That's one of his favorite things to do now. He loves seeing how far he can jump. Right, Boo? Right. So what you been doing today, Boo? You've been relaxing? 
He's been relaxing. He woke up a little while ago. He drank some water. He looked at the birds outside. And they're going to get their dinner soon. Okay, Bo. It's about 8 p.m. And I'm outside. I was shutting the greenhouse for the day. And look at this. I'm super, super zoomed in right now, so everything is kind of shaky. But, yeah, I don't know if that's an all-black cat or a tabby or what, but Boo is running from window to window, and usually when he does that, it's because he's seen a cat outside. So I guess maybe he saw this cat walk through the patio area, but right now it's just relaxing in my front yard. It's relaxing underneath a bush near the front of my house. And that's where Ditto used to hang out. He used to like to hang out in this area. I guess it's comfortable for cats. I also think they get a nice breeze because there's a breeze that I'm getting right now, like down the side of the house. So they probably get a nice breeze there also. I don't want to scare it. I'll just let it hang out. It looks like it might be a black cat. It looks pretty content. Today I put out a whole bunch of bird seed and squirrel food and it's all gone. They had a really good time today. And there's Boo by the back door. He's looking for something. He's looking for a cat. this lucky girl's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you